Hi everyone guys, this video is about how to send timecode MTC through a timecode source to your average console through a network connection. Thanks Dasun for asking this question, a friend from Sri Lanka. So let's dig in. Before I start, I have to say there are a few ways to send timecode. SMPTE or MTC. MTC means MIDI timecode. So today I'm going to talk about MTC. For MTC also, there are two ways to set through a network connection or a physical MIDI device. For example, like this device. This device has a USB as well as physical MIDI connection. So from this, I can connect through USB to my MIDI source laptop and the MIDI port directly to my Tiger Touch or Avalice MIDI in. If you have a MIDI device or maybe a sound card that has MIDI output, you can use it to uh, send MTC. Today I'm using Reaper from Reaper to your Tiger Touch or maybe Avalite console. But today I'm going to talk about sending MTC timecode from Reaper to your Avalite console through a network connection. So if you want to learn how to send MIDI timecode from timecode source to your Avalite console through a MIDI device, I'll explain it in the next video. If it is already done, the link will be in the description and in cards. So let's get started. How to send MIDI timecode from timecode source Reaper to your Avalite console through a network connection. So the first part is connecting your timecode source, the Reaper, and your Avalite console to a network switcher. For this, I used a D-Link switcher, network switcher. There are different types of network switches and your uh, strength of your connection will depend on the a bandwidth of the ports. So you can see the network switcher that I have. Each port can go up to 1000 megabytes per second or 1 gigabytes per second. So there are slower bandwidth uh, network switches too, but I recommend if you can go for a 1000 megabytes per second router, uh, it will be much better for the connection. I'll add the link in the description for you to check about this device. So as you can see, I have connected my Reaper source laptop to a network adapter to the network switcher as well as uh, the Titan PC suit because I don't have a Tiger Touch with me now. I connected both my laptops uh, to the network switcher. And the next step is changing the IP settings. So first we have to give an IP address to your console as well as to your timecode source laptop. Uh, you'll see a logo, a logo on top left side of your console click it and go to control panel and in control panel we'll do the uh, network settings so i'll show you here I'll go to network settings advanced settings and more options this is uh, of course windows 11 so if you don't have windows 11 or earlier version you go to control panel and network connections and change adapter settings so this is my physical connection of my network so i'll go right click in properties and you can see here internet protocol version 4 click it and go to properties uh, usually it will be yours will be on obtain ip address automatically change it to the use the following ip address and give a ip address i'm going with uh, 192.168.8201 so all my uh, consoles will be on uh, this ip address and subnet mask change the ip address and subnet mask then press ok in console, uh, in Titan software, you can go to system settings and network and you can uh, check if your uh, IP address is assigned properly. In your Reaper console also, you'll have to go to the same network settings and give an IP address. So in Avalites in Titan, I gave my Ethernet port 192.168.8201. So your timecode source Reaper laptop should be a different at the end, maybe 202 or 200. For the time code source laptop, the laptop that I installed Reaper is a Mac. So I'll show you how to change the settings in Mac too. You go to network preferences and you can see your network port. This is my network port. It will be here in DHCP. So you choose it manually and give an IP address. So you can see 192.168.8204 and subnet mask is the same. Then you click apply. So now uh, we gave both our console and the timecode source laptop uh, IP address, individual IP addresses. 
So as the next step, we have to make a MIDI connection within the network. For that, we have to install RTP MIDI. I'll add the link in, in the description to, for you to download. Copy it to a pen drive and connect it to your console and you can install your software. After installation, I'll show you how to do the settings for it. Go to RTP MIDI. You can see here my session. I have made a session called Avalanche Shashi. You can press plus button and you can give a name here, local name and a bunch of name. You can give both. It will be the name that's showing in your other laptop too. So I don't need this. My one is created. After you create, rename Avalanche Shashi and press enable. And next you go to your source laptop, time code source laptop. And if it is a Windows, you have to install RTP MIDI. But if it is a Mac, uh, you don't need to install anything. You type in search bar MIDI, audio MIDI setup and press enter. You can see here, if this didn't open, you go to uh, Windows and show, it will be here, show MIDI studio. I'll show you again show me the studio and this will open and go to this network icon and here you can create another session I don't need to create I have already created I created as Reaper and enable so I can see here other network other MIDI connections that I can access in my uh, network so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and press connect so you can see here I'm already connected to my console within the network then it's done we close it then we open our Reaper software. So uh, in Reaper, you can add your tracks that you need to do the time code. Then we have to go to insert and insert a SMPT LTC MTC time code generator. I can increase the length of the time code and right click on the uh, empty area and go to source properties. In source properties, it will be send audio LTC, but we are not sending LTC, we are sending MIDI time code MTC. So we have changed this to send MIDI MTC and frame rate we can keep in 30. But if your audios are in different frame rate, you can change it to a different frame rate. But I'll keep in 30 and press apply and OK. Then I go to uh, preferences of a Reaper and MIDI devices and I have to enable Reaper. So you'll see the MIDI devices. This is Reaper is a MIDI device now. So I'll double click it and enable output this device. And OK, apply OK. Then I go to route of the uh, MTC and MIDI hardware output, I have to select. No, it's currently no output. Select it and select Reaper. And then we come to uh, our console, double press view and open time code source one. And then we go to time code and time code one selected. And it will be in internal time code usually. So you, so you click it and change it to MIDI time code and press exit. You can see when you play your time code source in your source laptop, it will be receiving in your Titan console. So this is the first step of setting time code, sending MTC through a network connection to your Titan console. And now you can use this source to trigger your queues in a queue list, or if you are in a latest version, our latest version 15 or upwards, you can use it to trigger your timeline. So guys, uh, use it. If you have any question, don't hesitate to comment. And also, if you haven't subscribed the channel, subscribe now. It will be a much help for others to reach this channel and learn more and give your comments it will be a much help for us to grow and share more so keep learning every day god bless you